Welcome back to the Navigation Bootcamp uh, Module 6, Georeferencing Maps. In the previous chapters, we had learned about different uh, map sources of India. And then the previous chapter, we had learned about global positioning systems, uh, latitude, longitudes, how to uniquely identify your uh, current position on the planet. So in this chapter, uh, georeferencing maps, we'll be taking any uh, map, either hard copy or soft copy, and basically georeferencing it, which means basically fixing its location on the uh, planet. So for this, we'll uh, start by downloading uh, one of the Survey of uh, India maps. Uh, you can log on to this website here of the government. You will uh, require your uh, other ID to log in. So you'll have to enter uh, with a valid other number, uh, enter the capture code, and then get an OTP to your registered mobile number to get into the maps. Uh, Survey of India maps contain a lot of useful details which can be uh, used for both positive as well as <laughs> not so good purposes, so that's why they keep a track on who is using their maps. Uh, to download a specific uh, map sheet, we can um, check this index here at this location. So this has a state-wise index of all the map sheets. Uh, in this case, we're going to have a look at uh, one of the maps of Maharashtra. So let's download here uh, this specific PDF file and open it. Voila, here we can see uh, the sheet index for Maharashtra. In this specific case, I want to download the uh, map uh, part of the Ahmednagar districts, more specific Bhima Shankar and Nanagat, which uh, will be map sheet uh, 47 uh, E12, uh, this map sheet specifically. So after logging into the um, no, not yet. after logging into the uh, website, uh, you will be able to download uh, the website using that sheet number 47E12. And then after downloading, uh, you will have to enter the um, again the last eight digits of your other number as a password to open the file. So download it in PDF format. Here we go. So let's open the file which I downloaded earlier and uh, just uh, use the four, eight last digits of the other number to voila, open the map. So here you can see the map uh, with lots of useful details as explained in the Maps of India section. So here we specifically have uh, Cedarghat Fort, which is located on this uh, Deccan Ridge here, which uh, goes all the way to uh, Bhima Shankar and beyond. So, to georeference this map, first of all, the map coordinates are clearly mentioned here. If we look at it, uh, the bottom uh, left corner, uh, which is basically at the western boundary and the southern boundary, these are uh, basically located at 73 degrees 30 seconds uh, uh, eastern longitude, which if we convert it to decimal, we get 73 and a half. Uh, degree and the southern boundary, the southern longitude is 19 degrees uh, uh, north, basically. So, 19 degrees north for the southern boundary. If we go to the top right corner of the same map, again, we'll see the uh, boundaries, more specifically the east here. East uh, will be 17, 73 degrees, 45 minutes. Uh, converted to decimal, this means 73 and 3 quarters, 73.75 degrees. And the uh, northern uh, boundary of the map is 19 degrees and 15 minutes. So, converted to decimal uh, degrees means 19.25. So, these are basically the boundaries uh, in terms of east, west, longitude, and north, south uh, latitudes of the map. Uh, so, we basically what we'll be doing next is we'll uh, convert this uh, specific PDF file using the, one of the uh, many available websites uh, to a JPEG, to an image which is easier to manipulate. So let's uh, open the PDF. Okay. Download, let's open the same map here, voila, and convert it uh, to a JPEG file. There we 
you go. So it's a pretty large file. It's uh, 15 uh, minutes east to west and 15 minutes north to south. So remember uh, 15 minutes, one minute being a, a, a line mile, sorry, a, a three mile. So it's 28 almost by 28 kilometer long. Again, same password protect, protected. So we uh, enter our and the last eight digits of the other. Voila, there we go. We can download uh, a JPEG now, which will be easier to uh, manipulate. Uh, for georeferencing, we will uh, cut the map exactly where we need it. So we simply open uh, MS Paint, check out uh, the JPEG file here, voila. And uh, we open it in Microsoft uh, Paint, voila. So here we can zoom in, zoom out the whole map, including the legend, as well as a lot of white spaces there, which we don't need. So we'll just select the exact boundaries of the map and uh, basically georeference that part of the map. So we need to now pretty accurately indicate the uh, bottom right corner, voila, and then we can zoom out and zoom in on the uh, upper side of the map. Button of the mouse to uh, get to that point. Let me go that one down. There we go. Ah, voila, there we go. So here also we select the uh, top left corner of the map, which will correspond to the uh, Latitude and longitudes. We are near. Uh, voila. There you go. We cut this portion, start a new map, and voila. We just take the uh, actual map. So we can save this um, with the same name. Uh, easier. Uh, this was currently installed. We can simply save it with the same name. There we go. underscore there we go save it and then for actual georeferencing we'll be using a uh, pretty nice tool called uh, map tiler map tiler is available uh, both in the cloud as well as on the desktop so either way you can download the desktop application or do the tiling on the cloud in my case i downloaded uh, the desktop version map tiler let me just open so in this application, we can load this image now, this JPEG, and uh, convert it to a KML file, a keyhole markup language, which will basically uh, indicate the uh, boundaries, east-west and uh, latitude boundaries, north-south of the uh, image. So again, we open the same image here, which we uh, now truncated. So it's in this location. So by default, we can accept this uh, coordinate system. This is basically the projection of the uh, two-dimensional image on the, on the sphere of the Earth. And we can uh, specify, we can now geo-reference it in many different uh, methods. In our case, we'll just use bounding box, west, south, east, north. There we go. So we enter now the coordinates, west, south, east, north latitudes and longitudes which we retrieved from the map area okay and there you go right Bhima Shankar and uh, Sidegat located in Ahmed Nagar district uh, west of Junar so this seems to be okay we now continue and uh, here we can just stick the Garmin GPS uh, devices so this will make it compatible to even download in your Garmin uh, GPS the uh, KML file by uh, having a maximum tile size of 1000 by 1024 by 1024 pixels. Now we can render it. So we just uh, open a new directory now. So here on the D drive, we can create the uh, uh, same thing again. E, uh, what is it? 47E12. Initially, move. There we go. Yes. 
to move on. Now we can render uh, this map. Rendering is done quite zippy. And when we look now, what would have happened is basically it has created a KML file, uh, which will be referring to various images. The images, the overall big image of uh, 28 by 28 kilometers and by many thousand, five thousand pixels has been cut into small pieces of uh, 1024 by 1024 pixels. And each of these uh, individual images, if we open the KML file, which is the full markup language, we just open it in uh, WordPad initially. We can see that each of the images here is referred, and for each of the images, uh, the KML basically uh, specifies the bounding box what is the eastern and the western longitude, what is the northern and the south southern uh, latitude in terms of decimal degrees. So the same for the second uh, image of 1024 by 1024. So this will basically allow any mapping application. For example, by default, we can use Google Earth. We could click on this. Voila, there we go. We can see the uh, map open in Google Earth where we can now view it in, uh, in a three-dimensional way. So we can rotate it. We can also reduce the angle just a second. Yeah, there we go. That point here is located on this whole table. We can reduce the angle, voila, and we can see the map now uh, positioned in the right location uh, in a 3D view, basically. So you can also play around with the transparency that you can actually, actually see that it really matches. This is the Google Earth satellite image on which we now have overlaid, uh, which is possible as we know the exact location in space of the map on top of uh, this uh, art view. You can then also clearly see that, uh, so for example, this lake, voila, you can clearly see like the lake matching with the boundary. You can see uh, certain villages here, uh, here we have forests, uh, yellow areas on the cultivated land. Uh, you can see those villages clearly uh, Visible on the map. Uh, we also well, we can see a small settlement, settlement in the forest, which is also mentioned here as uh, both body on the uh, ISO Survey of India map. Voila. So one other uh, very nice thing is that, uh, given the fact that the map is positioned in um, geospace, we can now also, for example, overlay any trails on top of this. Say, for example. Uh, remember, in the chapter maps of India, we could download uh, trails from, um, let's see here, rambler.com. So let's take one of the trails in the same region around Cedar Rats and uh, download uh, a GPS log of somebody who has hiked there and overlay it on uh, the same map. So let me just explore and search on. Uh, the name there we go a little bit slow the internet that's the rambler site which is a little bit uh, slow sometimes well up there we go so let's search on cedar guts and download uh, any trail in that region and overlay it on top of uh, our georeferenced map to show you that indeed the trail and the map are perfectly matching as both are uh, georeferenced. Okay, so we can take any uh, GPS log here, just uh, pick anyone. Voila. There you go. Well, I clicked on the name of the person. Let me. Uh, Click on the actual uh, GPS log again. Search. Many people uh, have typically uploaded routes to the more uh, famous parts. There we go. So let's take uh, the bigger one here. You can see on 
nice loop. And voila. Let's open this GPS box. And uh, there we go. We go from the village up to Agupe, where I actually crossed two days ago. To, uh, go to see the red point and then climb down to a gully back to the road. So let's download this GPX file, which is also, as we already know, nothing more than a set of a sequence of latitudes and longitudes. And let's open the same file in uh, the Google Earth view. There we go. This is the GPX. There we go. Let me just see which one we download. Sanche. There we go. Okay. So we'll open it and voila. You'll see the same trail being uh, loaded on uh, the map, basically. Text. I don't see any text right now in the thing. A little strange. Okay, in that case, we can open another one. Yes, there's another view uh, which we can just open. Voila, there we can see the blue line now. So maybe let's hide the other one and just put uh, this trail. You can see that. Voila, the trail is actually perfectly matching with uh, starting from the village here, Navali, uh, leaving the road and then going into the paddies, lining up uh, through the gully, through the valley, into uh, coming to the right towards uh, Cedargat village at the base of Cedargat and then climbing up the fort basically. So that way, uh, after georeferencing your map, right, you can overlay it with other maps. You'll be able to overlay it with contour lines, uh, which we can download from uh, uh, the internet in, the, in one of the coming chapters, as well as uh, trails on top of this. So this is it. So now what uh, I want you to do is I want you to do the same exact exercise, uh, download uh, the Serbia of India map of uh, this region, Georeference it as discussed, download any trail, overlay it on the map, view it in uh, 3D and Google uh, Earth, and then basically um, after finishing the assignment, you just take a screenshot, put it in uh, paint, voila, to prove that you completed the assignment. There we go. Save this file. So this is module uh, six assignment. There we go. And then, as usual, you just open, uh, I mean, save this file in any uh, Google photo album. So let's download, there we go. Uh, module 6, voila. So we'll just add it to this album. Make sure the album is public so I can uh, review your assignment. There we go. Voila. Module 6, Module 5, Module 4. Uh, so then, basically, we uh, can add a link to this album. Options here. Voila, copy the link to the chat. Then you go to the navigation bootcamp on ultrajourneys.org, where uh, you can go to the last module, Module uh, 6 where the videos will be added and then basically you can uh, submit uh, along with your email id the uh, this uh, assignment there we go the public map submit voila congratulations you have just um, mastered uh, the art of georeferencing maps which will again be useful in the coming chapters when we talk about satellite maps topographic maps trail planning and finally map and compass